Welcome to my video tutorial on how to add a Conan server to your home. This way you don't have to pay for a service like Gportal or you don't have to purchase server space. You can do this from pretty much any potato of a computer. You really just need a quad core with eight gigabits minimum RAM, but you probably want more RAM for that. If you have more than you know 10 or 20 people on your server, you're probably gonna need 16 gigabits of RAM but it's not going to need any dedicated graphics card. So the first step we want to do is we want to create a new folder. It doesn't matter where you create this folder. I'm just doing it on my desktop. So we're going to create a Conan server folder. Okay, now we got our empty folder and we want to download Steam CMD. We can do this from the developer.valvesoftware.com website. This is their wiki. And we can come down here to download the Steam CMD zip. And we're just going to download it to our desktop in our Conan server folder. So we'll say save. It's a small file, so it doesn't take very long to download. But once it's downloaded, we'll see the Steam CMD zip. We want to extract our Steam CMD. So we're just going to extract all to here. We're just going to open it in 7 zip. And I'll drag it to here. You don't need 7-zip, that is just an application that I use. So now that we have our Steam CMD in our root directory, we can delete this Steam zip folder. We don't need the zip folder anymore. We need to run Steam CMD for the first time. It's going to download all of your application files and folders. This will depend on your network speed. Okay, so now our files have finished downloading. We can exit Steam. You can type in exit or just click on the X in the top right hand corner. Now we can see all of our Steam files have been updated and we have all of our Steam folders. We're gonna wanna create a new bat file. So we're just gonna create a new text document. We're gonna name this new text document server update.bat. You will get a warning message. Just say yes. And in this bat file, we are going to run a string of commands. That way it automatically updates our server file. So we'll just right click and then edit. And then in notepad, we'll paste steam CMD plus login anonymous plus app update 443030. That's the Conan server validate and then plus quit. So we'll go ahead and save this and we'll exit. Now we can run our update to our server. You will need to run this server update anytime there's changes to the server or if people can't connect. So just double click to run and again it'll launch Steam CMD and it'll download all the files. Now this will take some time depending on your network as the Conan server is a little bit large. Once it finishes downloading your files, you'll see that it's going to verify the updates. And then once it's verified, it's going to do a committing process, which is just adding the folders and files. Once it's done, we should now see the Steam Apps folder. We can expand this and then go into common and we'll see our Conan dedicated server. In here, we'll have a server bat. We need to run this once to create all the Conan uh, server files because we're going to need to update, update those files at a later time. Just need to allow access for the firewall. Okay, now we can see that the server is running. We can see once it's our IP address and then the, po the port 777. Then we pretty much know that the server is running. 
Now we don't have this server configured yet, so we want to actually close out this server by pressing Control and C. You can see up here, Control plus C to shut down. So we'll just press Control C and it's going to shut down our server. Now that the server is shut down, we can actually go update our port forwarding. That way our home network will allow the internet traffic to come in to our Conan server. So for me, I need to log into 192.168.100.1. This is my default gateway. You can find this information from CMD in the command prompt if you type ipconfig. And then you can see from your network adapter, which I'm connected through wireless, we can see our default gateway is 192.168.100.1. This number may be different for you. So I'll go ahead and type that in my address bar and this will bring me to my home router. So you just need to log into your router using the credentials. And your router may look different than mine, but I need to go to advanced forwarding rules, and then port mapping. From here is where I can add uh, port mapping for my Conan dedicated server, which I've already created one. And here we can put in our internal host, which this is my computer's IP address, which we can see that from CMD. That'll be your IP4 address. Ports that we need to open are U UCP and UDP for 777, UDP for 778, UDP for 27015, and TCP for 2775. Go ahead and apply and save those changes to your router, and you should be ready to start hosting your server. But before we go that far, let's actually go and customize our server a little bit. So from our Conan's dedicated server folder in our Steam apps, under common, Conan Exiles dedicated server, we're going to go into the Conan sandbox. And here we can find our saved and then configuration. Windows server. And these are all the, initial, the INI files that we need, the configuration settings for our server. There's really only two files in here that you're going to need to update. One of them being the server engine and the server settings. Under the server engine, on the online subsystems, we can add our server name equals and we'll just say new server. You can name this anything you want. If we want a server password, we would say server password equals and one, two, three, four, whatever you want your server password to be. But this is not necessary if you want to create a public server. So we leave this out because we're going to create a public server. So we'll save these settings and we'll close. Under the server settings, this is where we can add our administrator password. So under server settings, we'll create a new line and we'll say admin password and then equals one, two, three, four, or whatever you want your server password to be. We'll save these settings and we'll close. Now our server is ready for use so we can actually start our server for the first time and test it out. Now when starting a server we're going to go into our Conan sandbox. I'm sorry, we'll go into our Conan server. We'll go under Steam Apps, Common, Conan Dedicated Server. From here we can do the start server.bat again. This will start our server up. 
when creating a new server, it will take some time for your server name to be populated in the lobby. Usually it takes about one to two hours, but it can take up to 24 hours. If you want to test your server from your home network, you can type in your public IP, which you can find that information from Google. Just type in what is my IP or what is my IPv4 address and Google will give you your IP address and then you can use Direct Connect. So let's go ahead and start Conan from the Steam library. And we'll press play. We'll play online. Again, you may not see your server name show up directly in the server list, as it will take some time for it to populate. But mine's already showing, so we can actually go ahead and connect to this server. Now your current Conan server is ready to use. You can import your character or create a new character, whichever your preference is. Once you are in the, the character build, or once you're out of the character build, you can actually open up the admin console by hitting the either the insert button on your keyboard or the till button beside your one key. So we want to log in as administrator. So we're gonna say make me admin and then we'll put in our password, one, two, three, four. And now we have admin rights. From here, you can then um, make changes to your server through the settings. If you wanna make it PVP, or if you wanna make it you know, PVE, you have all the settings here. Put in a message of the day, etc. change all your settings here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond to you all. Um, if you have any issues, do the same. We can work on this all together and figure it out. But please like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get at least a 1,000 subscribers.